In the last video we created this checkout page and in this tutorial we're going to go over how we can customize it a little bit. So again if we go over to Easy Digital Downloads, go into Advanced, and go into Theming, you can see this link right here for customizing the checkout cart template. So if you click into that, it goes over a couple different ways that you can customize it. So the first option is writing custom hooks for your theme and this will allow you to hook into different actions within the theme and make changes. That may be a little bit advanced for some of you so I'm going to go ahead and do the second option which is copying the original templates to your theme and adding them there. So if we scroll down to the second section here you can see here that all we need to do is create a new folder called edd underscore templates inside of our theme and then copy some of the template files that the plugin provides. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we need to do is create a new folder call it edd templates and then we need to go grab the template files that we need to customize. So it would be under content, plugins, and then you'll notice easy digital downloads, and you'll see templates right here. So you'll notice that it has a lot of different template files that you can customize. What we want to do is customize the checkout process in this video. So in our EDD templates, all we need to do is copy this checkout cart. Let's copy that, put it in here, paste. And let's go back over to our theme files and inside the new directory that we created, we have this checkout underscore cart. So if we open that, we can see here that there's a lot of code here that we can customize. So this file is pretty much just for this section right here. So for my example, my checkout header here has item name. I want to change that to theme name. So I'm just going to search for item name. And you can see here it's set right there. So what I'm going to do is just change that to theme name. Also, theme price. Save that. Reload. And there you go. It changes the theme name and theme price. So as you can see here, this is set up in a, uh, a table, and you can customize a lot of stuff in here. So if you'd like to remove something or change something, you can go ahead and hack away at this template. Another thing that we can do is actually change the CSS. Right now, if we go under settings, themes and then settings. You see here are styles. We can, we can disable the styles right here if we want. If we save that. Reload. You can write custom styles and make this look however you'd like. But I think Easy Digital Downloads does a pretty good job of making your page look nice. So I normally keep those, those default styles. But you can also build on to those styles as well. So customizing the plugin CSS, if you click on that, it's pretty much the same as what we just did for the checkout page. All we need to do is copy the templates EDD CSS into our templates directory. So what we could do is copy this file here. Again, that's under Plugins, Easy Digital Downloads, Templates, and edd.css. So if we copy that and put it in here, 
you can see that once this is done, the plugin will load your custom version of the CSS instead of the one provided. So we could go back to our theme files, open this CSS file, and then make any changes that we need in here. It's a pretty nice way of doing it without having to write all the styles for this page. You know, you may just want to change this color up here or something. You know? So, for example, just to show you what I'm talking about, let's find this class in here. And I'm just going to change it to black, just to give you a dramatic example. You see that I've changed the color there. So you can go here through there, you know, maybe you need to match it more closely to your theme. That's a pretty easy way to do it. So I'm going to end this tutorial here, showed you a quick way that you can change the checkout pages and templates. Feel free to venture more into the templates that they provide. You can customize a lot of different things. Other than that, I'm going to end this tutorial here and we'll move on to something else.